Hey guys, Ross here. Happy to be back with you for another daily shave. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Today we're going to be using Holy Cow Cuero Oscuro, which means dark leather in Spanish. So that should be dead ringer as to what this is going to smell like. The brush for today, which has been soaking, is going to be my West Coast Shaving Deranged Edition brush, better known as Blood Money. Nice little coin here on the bottom. The razor for today is going to be the West Coast Shaving 78S, which is the handle here. And this is a, a stainless steel handle, chrome head, and I'll be using a fresh Gillette Silver Blade. So let me wet the face and we'll get into the soap and the scent. Just gonna wring this out just a little bit here. And we'll get to loading. So, as I mentioned, the scent on Cuero Oscuro it means dark leather, and the scent notes are leather, vetiver, tobacco, patchouli, oak moss, cedarwood, and coffee. And to my nose, this is definitely leather Ford, followed by a little bit of the, the vetiver and oak moss, and I can definitely get the coffee sort of rounding this out. I don't get too much of the patchouli and tobacco, but certainly this is a very well blended uh, soap as far as the scent goes. I would say it's a... Um, Maybe mid strength soap. Um, I would say maybe like a four and a half. Um, you really don't want to overdo the leather. I know that uh, a lot of guys out there aren't aren't the biggest fans of leather, so I would not say that this is overbearing at all. It's very light. Oh, excellent, excellent scent. And I think that is plenty. So we'll get loaded up. Now, Holy Cow has been around since 2014. They specialize in a wide variety of skincare products. I think what I appreciate most is just the, really it's not just the emphasis on on shaving, but just skincare in general. Um, the brand has many, many offerings of various shave soaps, uh, pre-shave oils, aftershave splashes, aftershave toners, balms, EDTs, and as I understand, they have been in the process of um, working on a cream as well as a serum, an anti-aging skin serum, which I think is excellent. So it just really kind of shows you the emphasis on skincare in general, which I think is, is great. Now, what Holy Cow is mostly known for, as you can see, this lather is just insanely good. It is uh, very voluminous, very dense. I feel, feel like it's very well hydrated, so I'm really good with where that lather is at. What Holy Cow is ultimately known for, as you can see on here, is the donkey milk. And for me, I think uh, in my previous experience with Holy Cow, the post shave is what really, really stands out for me. Um, the performance in general is excellent, which you'll see from this shave, I'm sure. I have no doubts that this is gonna be just an incredible performing soap. So let's get started. I have three days growth. Uh, 
I just hopped out of the shower as well, so my skin is very well hydrated and prepped for this shave. Oh yeah, the residual slickness is absolutely excellent. Now, holy cow, this is in their, obviously their tallow formula, but they do offer vegan, uh, a vegan base in their shave soaps as well, which I've also had the pleasure of trying and the performance is really no different for me um, just, just excellent, excellent stuff. Now I'm just going just real light. This, uh, as I mentioned, this handle is stainless steel. It's a little bit longer than, than I'm used to. Um, I believe this handle is around four inches long. I would say most uh, most razors, the handle length is somewhere around three and a half inches, but I have no issues with this at all. The head on this razor is, um, I would consider it more on the mild side. No issues getting under the nose there. Just excellent. I, I just I feel like this is just such a uh, a nourishing soap. Very protective. Tons of slickness left. I could keep doing passes with no visible lather on, and I would I would probably be fine. There's just there's so much slickness left over. Really enjoy this base. Let me rinse off, and we'll get to pass two. I'm still very much enjoying this brush. West Coast Shaving just uh, recently released their last batch of the deranged edition brushes. If you have not seen them, I would highly suggest going to the West Coast Shaving website and checking them out. The handles are just so unique. And there are a couple unique shapes. This is one of them. This is a taller handle. There's also a shorter handle as well, if that is your preference, which uh, the handles themselves were turned by Milton at Turn and Shave. He also placed the knots in these. The boss knot is just, I, I'm really enjoying it. All right, so this pass, we're gonna go across the grain. A lot of good feedback from this razor too. The combination of razor with this Gillette Silver Blue Blade is very smooth. Very efficient. <clears throat> Gillette Silver Blues are one of my favorite blades. only blade that performs a little bit better for me that um, I put in my number one spot is the pole silvers Got 
across the grain on the mustache. All right. Oh, that's feeling excellent. Really don't have a whole lot left, but um, I'll do a little bit against the grain here on the cheeks and chin. I think we'll call it there. Now I'd say holy cow is, um, it is a thirsty soap, but not overly thirsty. It can take a substantial amount of water. So as long as you don't load uh, or overload with water to start out with, you can certainly add as much water as you need to as you go along. Now I'm not going uh, against the grain on my entire face and neck here, but just the, just having this shave soap on my face, just, it feels really, really nice, really comfortable. It has a lot of good skin food and ingredients in the soap, which Again, in, in, in my previous experience, just really adds to the poche feel, which is just excellent. Very nice, very nice. A little bit here on the chin. All right, I am more than happy with where that is at. So let me get rinsed off and we'll get to the post shave. All right, now I do not have the matching splash, but I do have something that will complement this quite well. So I'll be using Talbot Shavings Lantern Hill. And this was uh, done in collaboration with Katie's Bubbles. A little dose there. Excellent, excellent. That feels great. This aftershave is, um, it's a, a lighter sort of a leather scent, almost, almost suede-like. Very pleasant though. Katie's post-shave is uh, very good in my opinion. All right, well that's it for me guys. That was a great shave. If you have not tried Holy Cow, I would highly recommend it. Um, both the vegan and the tallow base are both incredible. Um, 
really like the emphasis on just overall skincare from the brand. Um, I think it's great. I think it's something that uh, most of us don't really think about um, on a daily basis. But you know, keeping your skin happy and healthy is uh, is only going to help your shaves improve as well. So, anyways, well, I enjoyed that, guys. I hope you did as well. Look forward to seeing you for the next one. See ya.